House Tipster Industry Live is your ultimate destination for trend spotting and design news. We are your voice in the design community. It's Christopher Grubb with House Tipster. Hi, it's Patty Carpenter. We're at Alice Needham Studios with House Tipster. With the beautiful and successful Kathy Ireland. And someone you might recognize, Jane Seymour. Look who am I with, Hi. Kelly Ellis. <laughs> Big thanks to our sponsors. Hi, it's Christopher Grubb, your host with House Tipster, day one, ICFF, International Contemporary Furniture Fair, New York City. I'm with a friend of House Tipster, friend of mine, Joseph DiBenedetto, Director of Designer Doorware. How are you? I'm really good, Christopher. I'm Welcome really good. back. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to see you because your product is just such a standout, very sexy. Thank you. Australian sexy. How's that? <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Well, can we talk? You really are showcasing new this year, and they're like yes. in families and yes. an interesting mix. Start with this because I think of you for concrete, and I love this mix of materials. Yeah, so this is um, uh, concrete that we've reinforced um, uh, and put on a metal base and I think the contrast between the metal base and a concrete gives a really beautiful effect. Um, you know, from the Brutalist era we're bringing that back and you know, I think it's working quite well. We've won a couple of awards, so it's um, interesting, thank you. Um, and we've uh, taken it from the uh, timber handles that we've done and uh, replaced the timber with the concrete. So we, we do similar, similar ranges now. This is a new collection, Monty Timber Collection and Bullet and Stone a Concrete Collection. Well, I love this detail here on the stepping and the, how it steps up. Now, can these be used outside? Yes, they can be used outside. Um, we would suggest that you use a Danish or Scandinavian oil um, every year. Uh, or you can leave them and they'll just naturally go grey, but they are kiln dried, uh, kil kiln -dried um, wood, so they, they're very stable outdoors. They'll very, hold very up stable. Well. Yes. And then this I got to see a preview of. I love the rounds and I love how you did the split here, especially on hardware. But um, how many finishes do you have? Because this really shows a variety of the finishes. Well, the base material is brass, uh -huh. so we can do uh, 20 finishes on this, which are standard for us now. But we can do many, many finishes because it's brass. You know, it's really limitless as to what finishes you can do on this. Um, yeah, and all the finishes are behind you here on our yeah. little wheel that we've done. Well, so and you, you guys see. are global. So, what do you find hot? Australia, the States, Europe? Is there is there something consistent? Is it something that across the board it changes? We're, we're exhibiting in London uh, right now as well, and the feedback is very, very similar. I think the world's getting you know, smaller because of Instagram and social yep. media, etc. So, for instance, a product like this, which is our knurled, the knurled yeah. um, everyone has seemed to have seen it somewhere, and um, they, 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 they think that it's a really cool product, it's a little bit more masculine. Um, but I think styles and trends are getting closer around the world. Faster, um, yeah. A lot faster communication. Well, I like this just because it's a detail. If you have a really contemporary house, there's a little bit of texture in the space. Mm -hmm. So now we've interviewed a lot of designers. We've been to shows talking about the 80s coming back. Can I? Am I fair to call this? It's inspired by the 80s. I'm old enough to remember the 80s. Me too. <laughs> I think it's an 80s influence with the finish on it too. Definitely, yes. These are all solid brass as well. So we can wow. do them in white powder coats. We can... Um, do them in aged finishes, living patina in finishes. Um, we actually did have this product in our range um, early 2000, I'm talking 2001, um, and we discontinued it a while, uh, a shortly or time after that, and we've just released it in 2019. So you're ahead of the <laughs> Everyone curve. keeps asking Every, for it. Well, so. the young ones, what, they're like, oh, that's yeah, cool, yeah. and they've never seen it before. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm going to talk to viewers, too, because you talked about this is new. Yes. And there's two different pieces of hardware. I'm going to hold up one. You hold up the other one. Okay. Because you're trying to get feedback. Yes. Because this is new on what people think about the design. So um, what are you finding has been the reaction to it? Equal? Difference? Well, this is our transitional, so we're trying to cross over from contemporary to traditional. Um, a lot of homes these days have a, have a mix of designs, um, but they want to enter into traditional but still have a touch of contemporary going on. Um, so we've made this a little bit lighter in weight um, and put a thinner rose on it. Um, exposed screws, you can have concealed screws if you want to go a little bit more modern. Right, that's um, awesome. And there's a lot of shapes here. We're just trying to get some feedback from um, 
everyone at, at the show today. Or, or viewers can comment and say what they yeah, think about great. it. Which one would they pick? So that'd be great. it's always great to see you. Thank you. Great I to see you too. I appreciate it. Have and a great show. Great to see and you. And congratulations Thanks. on the debuts. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for watching this live stream. Stay tuned for next episodes. Don't forget to share and like our page. Big thanks to our sponsors. Check out our website for sponsorship opportunities.